Hello friends, good day. Welcome to our YouTube channel GKR Soft. In this video, we are going to discuss about ECU memory. In our previous video, we discussed about what is ECU, the functionalities of ECU and the working principle of ECU. ECU, it's an electronic control unit. It's a small device in a vehicle body that is responsible for controlling a specific function. Each ECU typically contains a dedicated chip that runs its own software or firmware and requires power and data connections to operate. In today's vehicle, it may contain 100 ECUs or more. The common used microcontrollers inside ECU is Freescale or NXP, Infineon Tricore, Renesas RH850, STM32 or Texas Instruments. In this video, we will discuss more deeper about commonly used memories inside the ECU. First, flash. It has two types of memory. One is P flash, another one is D flash. E prom, RAM, ROM, FRAM, SRAM, HSM, CACHI. First, we can start to discuss about flash memory. Flash memory is commonly used in modern ECUs because it offers several advantages over traditional ROM. PRO, EPRO, and EPRO memory types. Flash memory is a type of non volatile memory that can be erased and reprogrammed in blocks. It's commonly used in ECU for storing software code. So, generally, the developer, whatever the software code they used to type it, that will be stored inside the flash memory. Flash memory can also be used to store data such as sensor readings, calibration table, and diagnostic information. And flash memory is responsible for program code storage. Data storage, bootloader functionality, and partitioning. ECU's bootloader, which is responsible for loading the firmware into the microcontroller RAM, is often stored in a separate flash memory block. And flash memory has two types of memory one is P flash, another one is D flash. P flash, it's a program flash. It is used to store the ECU's code or firmware. The program code is typically stored in the read only memory area of the P flash memory, meaning that it cannot be overwritten. Or modified by the ECU. P flash memory is also a non volatile memory. It means it retains its contents even when the power is turned off. And P flash memory is usually based on NOR flash technology and provides fast read times and random access capabilities. D flash, data flash, it is used to store data that can be modified by the ECU, such as calibration tables, sensor readings, and diagnostic information. Generally, the NVM blocks and all those things will be stored inside the D flash. D flash memory is typically based on the NAND flash technology and provides high storage density but slower read times and no random access capabilities. D flash memory is usually divided into multiple sectors or pages, with each sector or page representing a different data set. The ECU can read or modify data in each sector or page independently, allowing for efficient data management. EEPROM, it's electrically erasable programmable read only memory. It's a type of non volatile memory that can be electrically erased and reprogrammed. And EEPROM, we commonly used in ECUs for storing data that can be modified over the life of the vehicle. The EEPROM mainly used to store calibration data storage, configuration data storage, fault code storage, security key storage, and runtime data logging. Calibration data storage. EEPROM is used to store calibration data such as fuel and ignition timing maps which can be adjusted for optimal engine performance. The calibration data can be read, modified and written to the EEPROM by the ECU during operation. The configuration data storage. It is used to store configuration data that is specific to the vehicle such as VIN number, vehicle identification number, engine type and emission code system settings and at the same time the immobilizer code and adaptive learning values also will be stored inside the EEPROM. Fault code storage. EEPROM is used to store default that means diagnostic fault codes and other diagnostic information that can be used to diagnose and repair problems with the engine or other vehicle system. ROM. It's a read-only memory. It's a type of non-volatile memory that is programmed during the manufacturing process and cannot be modified or erased by the end user. The data stored in ROM is retained even when the power is turned off. Example, ROM include mask ROM, M ROM, programmable ROM, P ROM and erasable programmable ROM. RAM. 
it's a random access memory it's a type of volatile memory that is commonly used in ecus to store temporary data storage and execution of program code Pro then mainly where we will use the ram it's for a program code execution and it will be stored in the stack management and task scheduling and data buffering the program code or firmware is stored in the flash memory is loaded into the ram when the ecu is powered on the program code is executed from ram which allows for faster execution times and easier updates to the program code ram is used to manage the scheduling of tasks and interrupts that are processed by the ecu and ram is used to manage the call stack which is a data structure used by the program code keep track of function calls and return address and in the data buffering ram is used to buffer data from external devices such as sensors and communication interface which allows to smoother and more efficient data processing the temporary nature of ram means that is con that is contents are lost when the power is turned off but this is not a problem for ecus because as the program code and permanent code data stored in the non volatile memory such as flash memory or eprom fram it's a ferroelectric random access memory it's a type of non volatile memory that is sometimes used in ecus for data storage fram is a type of ram that uses ferroelectric material instead of traditional capacitor to store data it combines the benefits of ram and flash memory and it will be used in the data logging and configuration data storage and it will be used in the real time data storage fram is faster than flash memory and has low power consumption than ram and it is used to store calibration data and other critical data yes ram it's a static random access memory it's a type of volatile memory it stores the data and variables used by the ecu during its operation and is typically used to store temporary data such as sensor readings calculated values and control parameters sram is used to store temporary data that is required for the ecu's real time operation hsm it's a hardware secure memory might be you all heard about the hsm inside the ecu it's a separate hardware device that provides additional cryptographic functions and security features to protect sensitive data and prevent unauthorized access so more critical and sensitive data will be get stored inside the hsm and hsm will perform encryption and decryption of sensitive data such as password security keys and configuration settings and generation and verification of digital signature those data will get stored inside the hsm and will be used for secure booting of firmware cache memory is a type of memory that is sometimes used in ecus to improve the performance of the ecu cache memory is a small amount of high speed memory that is used to store frequently accessed data which can be quickly accessed by the ecu without having to access a slow slower main memory we can say about it will be used for program code execution data storage and task scheduling and there we can say about there is a two type of cache memories there one is instruction cache another one is data cache so these are the common memories will be used inside the ecus so this information will be used and useful for all the developers who actually want to really work with the ecus memory and at the same time who all are preparing for an interview this information will be useful for them thank you so much for watching this video if you like it please share it with your friends if you want to stay with us for more technical content then subscribe our channel thank you so much have a nice day